Tetris? Tetris. 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 It's the perfect game. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I played for five minutes. I still see falling blocks in my dreams. It's poetry, art and math, all working in magical synchronicity. It's... It's the perfect game. Tetris? Tetris. 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 I don't get it. It's a combination of tetra, Greek for four, and tennis. Tennis. The Russian inventor, he likes tennis. Nasal. Yeah. This game isn't just addictive, it stays with you. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Hank, only 10 other people in the world have seen what you're about to see. It's called the Game Boy. Package them with Tetris. Can you get us the rights? The Soviet Union had worldwide rights. Nothing gets out easily. I'm gonna go to Moscow. You're walking into a country that still considers America enemy numero uno. Okie dokie. You sure you don't have to talk to your wife about this first? Pioneers have to bet the house to win. But not literally. Listen. Have you ever heard our apartment this quiet before? This is the inventor of Tetris. Your game is brilliant. I'm gonna make you a millionaire. Mr. Rogers, have you ever negotiated with the Soviets? We're here for Tetris. We've seen this talk ради денег. What do you say? I don't speak Russian. <laughs> <laughs> the most powerful man in communist started is watching you and your family. Do you know where your husband is? What the hell is going on? The world is changing and Soviet Union will not be left behind. You want to play with the big boys? This is how the world works. Where is my money? This is insane. We can't protect you. Sometimes you gotta forget the rules. This is criminal. The Soviet Union is about to implode. They're lying, everybody's lying. Go home. The cavalry is coming. We don't have time. I have a plan. Oh, come on. You guys are the kings of cliffhangers. Not the bad. What's going on, world? It's your boy, Kuya P, Nerds Rule the World, and of course, Heather. Hurt, how are you, Heather? Yeah, yeah it's okay. Let's do this movie thing. <laughs> yeah, we did this fine. movie thing right here. Press screening for Tetris. Uh, initial thoughts coming out of this joint right here. Huh? You know, it might be worth watching for you. Just a little bit. Especially <laughs> if you're a fan. Just a little bit. Just a little, Just bit. little bit. Maybe play some Tetris and then get, like, get yourself really in the mindset. Yeah. Banging soundtrack. Oh, oh my, my God. gosh. 80s babies are gonna be so much in love like I was. Um, yes, uh, coming soon to Apple TV, uh, but we checked out this great press screening, and uh, it's not what you think. It might, you, you know, we saw the trailer, we did like a react to it and everything, mm -hmm. but homie, I would say it isn't what you think. It's a lot more involved, and it's yes. Far, it's far more biographical than the trailer lets out to be, yeah. but it's still a hell of a good time. Epic, yeah, and yeah, yeah, so many, I'm gonna have so many words, we're gonna have so many words, check out our full review on the NRW, and of course I'll be talking all about it on WTOP FM Radio, y'all, check it out, Tetris, y'all, and I can't stop thinking about the theme song right now, it's just <laughs> in my head, it's gonna be on the drive, do, do, do. I need a trap version, y'all, can we get a trap version of, w, of the Tetris song, please, I can't wait, anyway, y'all. <laughs> Boom, there you go. That was a trailer for Tetris arriving uh, in theaters at Alamo Theaters on March 24th and streaming everywhere on March 31st, 31st, excuse me, on Apple TV. Let me start that over again. <laughs> is it coming? To, is it really coming at Alamo? Yeah, select theaters, Alamos on March 24th. Select, you know what? Because this is going to, I'm probably not going to release this until tomorrow. I'm not going to have time to edit it until tomorrow. So, um, I'll just say that everywhere March 31st. I'll, I'll cut that off because it's select Alamo theaters. It's, I think it's Sorry. only nine theaters. That's yeah, what so it doesn't make any sense to say that because I'm, I'm sure it's good, that's very limited for people. So we'll just say everywhere on March 31st. Apple TV. All right, here we go. In a one, two, three. Boom, there you go. That was a trailer for Tetris arriving everywhere, streaming 
on March 31st on Apple TV+. Plus. I'm Kuya P. This is Nerds World the World. And as you see on the screen, I got the homie, Heather Hurt. Don't hurt him, Heather, uh, to talk to me uh, with us together all about Tetris. How are you, Heather? Good, good. That was an intro there. That was an intro. Not, not my best one. Not my best one. It's it's an off day. I apologize. It's because I'm still enamored uh, from watching Tetris as of this recording. Uh, we watched this uh, the day before uh, we recorded this. And uh, I've been doing nothing but bumping various versions of the Tetris theme song. Uh, I listened to the Tetris trap version as we discussed yesterday after leaving, Heather. I then went found another remix, another remix. It's been nothing but Tetris, and now it's in my head again. It's in my head. I can't stop. But I don't have a problem with that, really, honestly. I like sure. the Tetris theme song. You do, like you. <laughs> you do you, sir. Uh, those poor, poor waiters at Alamo Draft House who have to listen to that for like the next week and a half. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, I think everybody's going to be bumping it like myself on March 31st when this drops because we got a lot to talk about. So I'm going to toss it over to you uh, to give the story plot breakdown that as we do, I'll talk about some of the actors, cast members, and then we'll give our review, y'all. So here we go. Take it away, Heather. So it's the year of my birth, 1988. <laughs> and yes, I am old. No, it's, uh, I mean, <laughs> but, I got 11 years on you, Heather. <laughs> Still my birthday month too, so we're good. Um, but it is 1988, and this game is sweeping the globe on brand new conceptual personal computers. This game known as Tetris. It is somehow made its way to, way outside of the Soviet Union and into the hands of some very, let's call them manipulative humans. Um, like, unfortunately, like much big business, manipulative humans. And it has slowly and kind of quickly, however you want to look at it, made its way into uh, the green screen. Hi, I did it this the right, right the first time. Hank, Hank Rogers has gotten his hands on it and he is ready to go global. And who is the first person that he goes to see? CEO of Nintendo, naturally. Um, but when he makes a deal with Nintendo, things go haywire. He needs to get more copyrights. He needs to have more options. He needs to do everything so that Nintendo can be ready to sell it right when that brand new, beautiful, beautiful gaming system known as the Game Boy releases. Very first one, guys. It paired up. And uh, so it takes him all over the world. He goes to the UK, to Russia, to Japan, to everywhere in between all trying to get this one little game that will one day in the distant future, it's 1988 after all, become a smash hit and sell billions of billions of versions worldwide. And he makes a couple of friends along the way. And that's the plot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, there you go. There's the basic oh, plot breakdown, okay. again, based on the real story. Um, mm -hmm. But obviously a lot of Hollywood elements I'm not quite sure. Uh, I need to do more research on the differences. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, as we go through these characters, uh, some might be real, some might be fake because of Hollywood for, you know, story's sake. Um, so our title character, Hank Rogers, uh, is played by Taron Edgerton. You know him from the Kingsman franchise series, uh, Rocket Man playing Elton John. Uh, I think a lot of us dig Mr. Taron Ed Edgerton over there. Okay. Um, we have Tracy uh, played by Mara Huff. Um, Dennis Jackson, played by Miles Barrow, uh, the bank manager where uh, Taron Edgerton goes to get the money in order to do all the things uh, in this film is played by Rick Yoon. And he looked very familiar. You know, I, I as an Asian American, I like to show love to my fellow AAPI actors. Um, we've seen him in Alita Battle Angel, uh, Prison Break, Marco Polo, Hawaii Five O, The Man with the Iron Fist, Ninja Assassin. Um, good looking brother. Uh, good to see him working. I know I recalled him from other projects. So, uh, yeah, Rick Yoon, shout out to him. Uh, playing the designer, the uh, the original designer of uh, the Tetris game, Alexei Pajanov, is Nikita Efremov. Um, shout out to him. Uh, Robert Stein, one of the squirrely people trying to get the Tetris franchise, is played by Toby Jones. You've seen him in Avengers. Mm -hmm. uh, you've seen him in a bunch of films. He's a, a great character actor. Uh a big fan of him, and he's particularly squirrely in this project. 
Uh, some good work from Toby in this one and a lot of other actors. Uh, I'm just going to give you that highlighted list. Um, but again, as I always say, um, it takes a village to make a film. Uh, so shout out to the entire cast and crew uh, behind this. And you know what? Let me show love to uh, the director on this. Uh, John S. Baird. Uh, you've seen his work on uh, Filth, Stan and Ollie and Stonehouse. And uh, the writer on Tetris is Noah Pink. And you've seen Noah Pink on Genius uh, and not too many other projects. Uh, so he's still kind of an up and comer on this. Uh, but there you go. That's your cast and crew. But as always, again, reinstate. It takes a village to make a film. Uh, and uh, much love to everybody on this cast and crew that put it down on Tetris. Um, so let's get into our review. Uh, one of the things that we kind of let off with is a great theme song. It's back again. We're hearing it again. But we also get a lot of great music in this. Heather, I know you were tweeting about it as well. Let's let's start with music because I think it's synonymous with this game, this film. And I think it's great music that makes you play a game, especially a game like this, mm -hmm. uh, where you're just kind of watching blocks fall. You need a great soundtrack. This delivers the original theme along with some great 80s hits. Absolutely. There's There was no decade like in music like the 80s. And they made sure they got all of the bigs. Um, but what's really cool is that a lot of them are the international, you know, if they're in Japan, they're listening to J Japanese versions. And if they're in Russia, they're listening to Russian versions. Like, there's no reason to listen to American, to the, uh, to the original English version. And honestly, they hit so much harder in other, in other languages. Like, there are some where they just hit harder. And... I wish that they had an Apple TV. You own Apple. Well, sorry, Apple. You own Apple Music. Pair this show. Pair this film with an they album. Yes, to. the music is all. It's already available. Just put it in a big clump so that we can like hit. Because like this, that was a full pump up album. Like there wasn't any like downers. It was full pump. So yeah. I, don't I would know. buy it. I'm with you. I would completely buy that, Heather. I. Uh, it reminded me of my days of being in the military, you know, traveling overseas, different countries, and you would hear their versions of American music and they hit, you know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. And uh, I would love to do totally pick up this album as well. So please, Apple. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. You own Apple music. Put it when it let the other hand talk to the other hand and let's make that happen. Um, I'm with you. Heather. <laughs> so thoughts on this. When we first reacted to this project. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think I even told you this isn't what I expected, but I'm pleasantly surprised and, uh, and, and I enjoyed it. What, what were your thoughts when we kind of saw the reaction and then, you know, that we were getting this Tetris movie and then now haven't seen it. And this was exact. the movie was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, so I can't say that I was really surprised with it. I'm, it was, was it the greatest movie ever made? Absolutely not. Was it exactly what it needed to be? Absolutely. Um, the acting was was pretty fun. All the characters seem, all the actors seem to really take their uh, their positions in stride. Um, beautiful scenery, uh, great shots, and honestly, some pretty good action in this film. Yeah, I, I think the difference for me is I thought it would be much more comedic, but mm -hmm. it became a lot more serious. So there was a lot more political intrigue. It was a lot more of a dramatic film, and uh, I didn't expect that. I was expecting more of a comedy. Uh, however, there were very comedic elements in this, and so and comedy also in a sense that it, comedy and drama I think can play off of can be one and the same in, in, in different ways, and mm -hmm. uh, it was very in interesting in that aspect. And also as a creative and uh, businessman as well, I think this is a very cool and subtle way to talk to the next generation of make sure everything is signed. On the dotted line, you have that your paperwork right, like real talk. Would you would you say so? Like from your sense as well? Absolutely, especially when you're talking about the communist party. Probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, just make sure everything's there. If you ever get into business with anyone, uh, I definitely think this is a very business minded project. Um, but I love how they incorporated a lot of game elements in there too. Um, it was a good overall film. It's not the best film, you know, as you said. Um, it's probably boring to certain people, I would say, uh, because it is such a, you know, business minded type film. It's not a lot of action. There's action, but it's more situational knowledge based type of stuff that you get out of this film. 
it's it's a lot of uh, it is bibliographic, so it's not supposed to be. There yeah. are there are elements of action, there are elements of humor, there are elements of drama. But all in all, this is Hank's story about how we brought Tetris to the U.S., how we made it worldwide, um, how Nintendo got their hands on it. So yes, it's very business based, um, but it's also very people based. One of the things that I really loved about this movie, sorry, my glasses are just taking everything, and it's actually very um, timely at the same at, at the same point. Uh, the element of humanism uh, that is given to the people of the USSR at this time, the Communist Party was a thing, but they weren't all bad guys. There were some bad guys, but they weren't all bad guys. Um, many of them, most of them are very smart, um, very forward thinking. And honestly, a lot of the ones that are were, a lot of people were actually truly supportive of their country and then you had the people who could kind of take advantage of the system. Um, so, but it really humanized a lot of what conceptually America has seen, uh, uh, the world has seen in USSR kind of propaganda kind of thing. They're the evil guys, but no, they were mostly just humans. And this, this movie did a really great job of that. And that goes really well with today. A lot of us are, you know, it's we are very pro Ukraine, but at the same time, there are normal people in Russia right now fighting and believing in the same thing we do. We need to stop putting everyone in a bucket. This, And we just need to remember that humans are humans and that many people can only do what they can only do. So this was a very people movie. And I honestly think that really shone, that was really like sparkly and shiny about this film. Completely agree. Um, having served overseas, going to different countries. Um, uh, one of the things I, I, I've found is I hate, uh, that I hate about our, our, my, ourselves as Americans is we just kind of we we just call another whole country out without knowing that there's a lot of parts to that country mm -hmm. and uh yeah so uh i completely agree with you um and, and I, I hope that this helps change minds changes conversations that uh i, I don't we, we you know we should never just call it as a whole no. uh and, and break it up into parts if you if, if we even want to do that you know um, but don't ever, you know, just judge an entire people off of actions of certain people. So anyway, I'll get off the soapbox because we don't do that here. <laughs> I could have gone in further. So I right, mean, Heather? <laughs> but we don't do that here. So uh, Tetris, fun film, great film, mm -hmm. interesting film. 80s babies are going to love it. Uh, gamers going to love it. Business folks, I think will love it. Uh, I think it crosses over uh, to everyone and uh, a lot of fun. And I want to play the game. I'm I'm going to continue to bump the Tetris theme song. Um, but yeah, good times. Uh, definitely recommendation uh, on this from me over here. How about you, Heather? Absolutely. Um, I, am I, I, I love that it's coming to streaming. For those of you who have Apple TV, take take that subscription and run with it. Watch this movie. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. All right, Heather, if people want to talk all things Tetris, if they want to battle you in Tetris, how can they reach out to you? If you want to beat me in Tetris, um, because I am terrible at it, you can message me at Nerd is a Heather on Twitter or at Heather is a Nerd on TikTok and IG. All right. I haven't played in so long, so you'll probably be able to beat me as well, but I will definitely take you to that task. Uh, you can reach out to me at the Legend Kuya P on Twitter, TikTok, IG, and Hive, as well as here with Heather and the whole squad at the NRW and at New Release Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. Those are our thoughts on Tetris. Let us know if you're checking us, checking it out as well. And if you got a dope trap remix version of the th Tetris theme song, or if you're Apple TV and you're like, hey, we got the vinyls as well, or we got the playlist available, uh, let me know because I'm uh, I'm all about that. But if you also have a vinyl too, I'm back into my record collecting again as well. So let me know I because there's nothing like that. That's 80s style right there, Heather. You know, we, let's get that vinyl bopping. But uh, we need that Tetris soundtrack for real. All right, y'all. It's your boy, Kui P. Heather Hurt. We out.
<gasps> guess we just watched something that's only coming to streaming, but guess what? We got lucky enough to see it in theaters. <laughs> yes. Good times. Te wow. I know, right? It was good. Tetris comes to Apple TV on March 31, and we will definitely be chatting about it on the tubes of you. And WTOP FM Radio 103.5. Check it out. We'll be talking all about this joint. So good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, also, we just we, we just really need to show you this. That we are at um, an Alamo Draft House. <laughs> They've got it's a fucking snake on snakes on the plane theater. Like, okay, all right. It was a good night. All right, watch Tetris out March 31. Oh, he did his job.